Hello, la friends. Dapper Driver here, and welcome back to some PTCGO content. As I knock over water and cards everywhere. Ah. Uh, so I gotta pull cards out of my receipt bag now. Um, anyways, what we're here today to do is the uh, the great memer, uh, the great hunger that is the uh, glutton here. GX attack. Guzzlord GX has 210 HP. It's an Ultra Beast, which will come into play later. It eats sloppily, has a tyrannical hole, and a glutton GX. So eat sloppily, discard top five cards of your deck. If any of those cards are energy cards, attach them at this time. Um, so this works with any type of energy, D DCE, rainbow, dark energy. Is primarily the three you're gonna want here though. Uh, you can put counter energy on them, but counter energy doesn't count as two energy on them, just counts as a single colorless energy. Tyrannical Hall is a flat one, 880 damage for three darks and a double colorless energy. Um, and then Glutton GX it does 100 damage if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack. Take two more prize cards. Basically, if you hit that, if you knock out a uh, a non GX EX Pokemon, it's going to be three prizes in total. If you knock out a GX or EX Pokemon, it's going to be four prizes in total. So Guzzlord has the power to take four prizes at once. Um, my favorite thing to do is if you can get the Eat Slap Lee to work and get Glutton GX on your second turn to take out those. Uh, Whatever basic your opponent is playing is really the easiest way. This is the new promo artwork. He's taking down trees, picking up trucks. He's just that huge. He's hungry for everything. Here's the full art version if you guys are interested in seeing that. And uh, I believe the last version we have is the standard version here. Uh, it's pretty cool as well. Um, so we got four of them in here, guys. Four of them. To round out our Pokemon list, we are playing a Hoopa with that scoundrel guard you can kind of sit behind this when you're have when you're facing a gx heavy deck you just kind of sit behind this and uh try to manually power up your guzzlord because they can't really do anything without a uh a guzma so that's what hoopa is in here for and to finish out the pokemon is three tapu lele i know i know expensive card expensive card um Tapu Lele is not the only uh, option for this. Really, we only have uh, Lele in here for options to find Bridget turn one if we can, because Bridget turn one is going to get us out of Hoopa and two, goos two Guzzlords. Two Goozies. Um, so, that's what it's in here for. It's also a great cleanup attacker when Guzzlord just misses the knockout ever so slightly. Tapu Lele can come in and just knock it off. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, hype, right? I got that yesterday. Um, we play, uh, I believe it's three counter catchers. Or it's a two. No, it's two counter catchers. So counter catcher is here for kind of a specific reason. Being that um, we have no way to actually pick out what we're trying to take down. So I threw in counter catcher because odds are we usually down in prizes. So that allows us to uh, pick things off that we have either already damaged or um, or are weaker and we can take it out in one hit. So counter catcher is great for that. Taking those lilies off the bench and knocking them out. Uh, we have four max elixir because if we're playing so many dark energy we might as well play max elixir. We'll hit them every single time. So that's why I play four Max Elixirs, four Ultra Ball for that general search as well. You can search for that Lele first turn. And we were trying to, try to get a, trying to get a total number of 14 trainers that search. Because it's the highest percentage that you're going to be able to get one on the first turn. So if there's 14 cards out of 60, you draw seven per turn. Uh, I don't know the percentage, but it's, it's like 50 or 60% chance that you'll get in and out on first turn you'll get either an ultra ball a tapu lele a bridget you'll get one of these cards um we're playing devoured field to try to boost some damage a little bit it doesn't do a lot but it can put that 180 into 190 mark which knocks out turtonator ho-oh uh buzzwole 
Uh, those those cards right there is what Devoured Field is here specifically for. We're playing two of those. We're playing four Bridget because we want to hit Bridget ASAP to get out our Guzzlords. Playing two Olivia, which is also a very nice draw support or nice supporter here, because you can search for a Lele and another Pokemon GX in this case Guzzlord, and this is pretty cool and I like this full art. Uh, we got two Skylas, uh, one reverse, one full art, and that is to search for anything in our deck that we need. We can't search for Pokemon, but we can search for any of our supporters who want to use the following turn. And we can also search for any items we need, like those Wishful Batons, those that Devoured Field, the Choice Band for those numbers to be able to hit that stuff. So we have two scholars for that. I could even go for more, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we got one Choice Band to hit those 210 numbers on those Zoroarks. Three Wishful Batons, because we want to conserve our energy. We want to keep it on the board. Uh, four DCE, four Rainbow, and 20, that's right, two zero dark energy which is pretty cool so that's the whole deck guys time for bed all right i'm gonna export it put it down in the description below for you guys we're gonna take it to the ladder and see if we can uh complete this part of the ladder to get a shaman pretty close so guzzlord is hungry um i guess if you guys like this deck leave down in the comment section below hashtag uh lord is hungry i guess because uh the guzz lord is um is hungry all the time so let's go ahead and play the guzz lord is hungry guzz lord gx is hungry um hungry for a win against this fire psychic water type mr hero is coming to face off against our oh, guzz lord gx xxxxxl um, yeah, random tangent. Uh, yeah, you choose. Tell me to go second, please. So see, like I said, Bridget, Ultra Ball, turn one. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a basic to go with it. They now know we're playing Dark, though. There we go, we're gonna start off with the, uh, we got two mulligans. We're gonna start off with that Lord himself. Six prizes, and who are we facing? Turtinator. So this is where a, a Skylar will be helpful here. So what I'm probably going to do is Olivia for a Tapu. Cobb Tapu Lele and a Guzzlord and then I'll Tyrannical Hole or you know what? I'm going to come up with a completely new plan based off of the cards that are in my hand when I after this end so ooh that is a lot rougher a lot rougher the 20 energy is coming to bite us why couldn't I just keep the first hand it was much better So Guzzlord's matches seem to be pretty quick usually, so I think we'll go two matches today, but we'll see. Depends how long this one runs. Um, I like to keep these videos either under 20 minutes or just over 20 minutes. Check that out. Um, I don't think we're going to end again, so we're just going to eat sloppily. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got shafted like that? Oh, I had 28 energy. I had 5 on me. And out of the other 23 in there, none, not one decided to show up. Out of the other 23 in there, one decided to show up. That doesn't bother me. Are you kidding me? Oh, go, go, go. So I guess we'll just do this, cause uh, why not, right? Thank you. That's what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. Three double colorless energy on that. 
three double colors tossing out a layway and an ultra ball. That is craziness. Uh, dark energies for days. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye, Turtonator. Now, see, all we can hope for is that <laughs> Volcanion here it doesn't hit for 30 damage. And he doesn't hit for 30 damage. Allowing us to throw down another Guzzlord. Throw down a Bridget for our other Guzzlords. Wow. Um, and to be perfectly honest, we don't have anything but energy left anyways. I'm going to retreat here. Put in the one I just threw an energy on. We're going to throw two double colors off here. Because why not? Oh wait, what? What's this say? No weakness. Yeah, that's that's done right there. Because we don't need two double colors on him anyways. Eat sloppily. Wow, such bad luck. I just needed one more. One more is all I needed there. So I figured the prize denial would be the best option there. They're looking for a, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Uh, put it there, I guess. Eat sloppily. See, this is making no sense. It's like, I hit nothing and then I hit everything. But this is nice because I can, um... Yeah, I knew they were gonna go for that, but that's okay. We can Tyrannical hold this one as well. Oh, we're up on prizes, so that doesn't work. Uh, just in case, we're gonna go ahead and put this down. And we are gonna... Tyrannical hole here. I would glutton GX, but it doesn't do quite enough damage. But we are feeding... Feeding this uh, fire deck. So we'll put that there. And I truly want... Oh, that one can take out that. Okay, so we're just going to Tyrannical Hole here. And then take out the Ho-Oh next turn. Um, it's going to have to go after one of them. Question is, do we still have Skyla in the deck? We still have Skyla in the deck, and we got just got in a Lele. So this is where... Ah, oh, that... F yeah, I knew that was coming. So this is okay, though. They finally got their two prizes. But we have two prizes left. And we can do 190, easily. Um question is the follow-up. I think we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna go ahead and Tapu Lele, grab that Skyla, and I think we're gonna Skyla... Well, it doesn't matter. Devoured Field still is not gonna do enough damage. And we have no more Wishful Batons, so I guess... How much energy do we have left? We have 5 energies out of 16 cards. We're not gonna hit the Max Elixir. That's the, that's the first. We have 3 Max Elixirs and we're not gonna hit them. And we might. We might hit them. 7 cards. It's about half. But we can't do it, anything with rainbows. So we're gonna Skyla. But the question is for Max Elixir 
or for uh, Devoured Field. Uh, I guess let's go for Devoured Field. We'll do the 190 damage, and uh, I believe Little Hoopa can clean up here. And can we play that? Yeah, we can play that. So we'll just slowly add up on this guy, and we will tyrannical hole here. Which would have been a one shot if it wasn't for that fighting fury belt. So they're gonna try to retreat here, I assume, to prevent the KO. Brooklet Hill. An N. That's okay with me. That gives me more cards in my deck. Bridget and an Ultra Ball. So they couldn't take it out. They couldn't take it out. And just for the measure. Glutton GX for four prizes. To finish off that game. Guz Lord, Guz Lord, Guz Lord, Guz Lord. So I don't know what to say, guys. If you guys like this deck, down in the comment section, the Lord is hungry, and uh, feel free to copy this deck and uh, adjust it per your liking to uh, how you want to play Guz Lord. I've seen it. Yes, we got the Shaman. Um, couple suggestions that I already started talking to people about is uh, you know throwing it on top of Coco you can spread some damage and then Tyrannical Hole comes in and gets that knockout or uh, you know like if I would have had like a Latios on that last game and would have like DC Latios get 30 damage on both Volcanians I could have taken those three prizes earlier um, but also oh crap what was the other one Silvalli. Silvalli is kind of an interesting play with Guzzlord. Granted, they're both weak against fighting types, so Buzz Holio really does a number on them. But you can kind of get around that because, like I said, you can try to hit the numbers. You can hit 190 with uh, Guzzlord, but um, and then you can like replenish energy from the discard pile uh, with uh, Silvalli. So it's kind of an interesting idea. It sounds like it'll work, but the question is whether or not it will actually or not. So there we go, starting with our Guzzlord GX. That promo we just got. We just got this promo. Um, they are mulliganing. Oh my god, are we facing... Is it the Guzzlord Dex, guys? Is it Guzzlord v Guzzlord? Please tell me it is. Perfect. What is her name? M. Waste. Thank you for playing this dark variant of whatever you're playing. What is your dark variant that you are playing? Uh oh, spaghetti woes. Are they going to bounce, or am I going to bounce? It's on them, it's on them. It's on them. I'm not going to bounce. So we have two more decks for you guys later today. Uh, I think, uh, actually, I might just post all three of them at the same time. You guys can pick and choose which one you want to view. Um, yes! 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 I approve. I approve of this yes 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 so i think what i'm going to do here is i hope i get another basic because what i want to do is um grab the choice band right off the bat yes oh we get a bridget okay that's that's fine that's fine i want the bridget i want the bridget to uh keep my bench full oh i don't have the hoopa the hoopa totally would be a game changer in this in this game 
get those three Gus Lords up and eat sloppily first. <laughs> that is fine. We're gonna go in for the kill on this next one. Um, so I got the dark energy. Repel! What? They're gonna repel me! Doesn't matter which one goes up. They're all screwed. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one goes up. I'm trying to put me back. Oh, they got all four. And then they tossed the Gladian. Alright, well, I'm gonna play your game then, jeez. And you think they have an N? There we go. Mono e mono. <laughs> they play Skyla too. So which floor you guys like better? That one or mine? I don't even know where I got mine from. Breakpoint. I got it from Breakpoint. I'm actually surprised I don't have that in I IRL. Because I opened a lot of Breakpoint when I started. Get late. Oh, they got rid of it. They play field blower. Really? They play field blower? That is craziness. It's funny because because I just drew that. <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know what to do now. Um, I guess I'm gonna set up this guy old-fashioned wise and go ahead and tyrannical hold this first one here. Ah, oh, no, I just set it up for them to take the four prizes. Dang it. Dang it. I just set it up for them to take the four prizes. Dang it, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Yeah. Easiest play ever is what that was right there. Easiest play ever. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and throw up this Guzzlord. We'll put the uh, thing on him and go ahead and grab two Tapu Leles so we can search out Skyla next turn. Even though we have a Skyla. Um, Oh yeah, that's right, we're down now, so... I wish I could button GX! Do down the hoopa. They don't know that I have one. They're retreating. They're retreating into hoopa. That's perfect. That's perfect. They're gonna hate me right here. They're gonna hate me so bad. Cause I already have the Skyla. Glutton GX! Yes! 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 Guzzlord GX, guys! Two victories! So I'm kinda glad I had to re-record it. Because the first time didn't take. Um, used a different program and it just didn't work out. So, can we view it? Oh, we cannot view that Guzzlord deck. Not view that Guzzler deck, but you guys have mine to look after, so go ahead and view it. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out today. It's been a blast. We'll have two more decks coming your way tomorrow, I believe. Or not tomorrow. We'll have two more decks coming your way as well. Um, I'm a little backlogged, obviously. It's been a while since I've played some PTCGO, but I wanted to start off with a fun deck, and that was Guzzlord GX. 
Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dakwood Travi. I hope that you guys aloha, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.